Welcome back, Coach P, a.k.a. John Doe, one half of the unofficial assistant coaches. I know you miss me. I'm back, baby. Week 8, another SEC opponent, rivalry game, Bama versus Tennessee. This our real rivalry right here. You know, we just go extra hard on Auburn because they in-state. And that LSU, man, that's just because Saban used to coach that, man. This our real rivalry right here, and we own it right now. We done won it last 11. They ain't beat us since 2006. Give you that quarterback breakdown. Oh, oh, my goodness, boy. Check your ankle. Oh, man. oh speed, speed, speed. Bow! Maddox! This is supposed to be by my quarterbacks. Hold up, Jacobs. Let's roll. Let's get to the very first play. Look at this. Nobody lining up over Irv Smith. Whether this zone or man, this guy's already wide open. Especially if these two linebackers bite on this play action and they both go bite on this play action. If this man has got to be his man or his man, Neither one of them can, can get to this guy this quick. So watch this. Square those hips. Get those feet set. Drive it in there. Easy pitch and catch. One play, one first down. It's good recognition by Tua. We'll take that all day. Let's see what we got on the third and ten. Four out. We're releasing all four with the running back in the flat. Oh, we find Waddle. Way to turn up and go get that first down, young man. This guy's showing blitz. Once he dropped back in the coverage, we know we got five versus three. So Tua know he got time back there. He trusts his line. Look at this guy. He's going to drop all the way back like a safety. He's going to drop all the way back because we really waiting on this route right here to clear. You stayed with him so long that we thought you was going to stay with him, so we came back to this. But we was really waiting on that route. That's why it took us so long to just come on and come to this check down right here. We was waiting on that big route. And that guy that just went straight back as if he was playing safety, he was the only guy that could have stopped that play. But right now, we're interested in this first down. Like I say, this guy's going to drop straight back, deep. He actually will be on the collision course with Irv Smith if two will throw this ball to Irv coming across this middle. And that's who we want. But this guy's going to act like he's going to stay with Irv, which opens up Waddle. But watch this by Tua. Okay, we see a water open now, but look which way Waddle running. You're not going to get the first run down running this way with those two guys waiting. So guess what? Let him go back outside, throw him away from the defense for his safety, and about a chance to get that first down, and that go your first down. We might run the ball just to prevent a third and long. Oh, now we got plenty of trust in Tua. We dropping back on second and nine. Oh, what you got, Tua? Oh, keep, oh, you know you got time. You got time. What you got? I know. Oh, hey. Windows! Somebody get the Windex! Spring cleaning at Brian Dennis Stadium. Bring your own Windex! This is unbelievable! Look at all this tour has to process before letting this ball go. First of all, Waddle is going to sit perfectly right here. But this guy who is trying to see what's going on with Jacobs, is going to sit right in the lane. Tua sees that. He was finna go to him, but you sitting right in the lane. So now when I go to hit him, you jump on him, so I pump fake it. Now it look like he's open, but by the time I see him, after the pump fake to him, is a guy behind him. It's two right here. So now I got to come back upfield. I could hit you going up, but guess what? To give it, to give this guy no chance at getting it, I'm going to back shoulder you over here. All you got to do is find the ball. Like I said, if his head is not turned around, same thing I said versus Louisville, he's dead. That's eight games, eight opening drives, eight touchdowns. I told you in the Louisville game, first touchdown of the year, that if this guy's back is to the ball, then he's dead. Look at that laser. Look at that laser. Bow. Oh, hold up, Tua. What you got for me? What you got for me? Bow. Hold up. Speed, 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 speed. Oh, he out of here. Let's go, Walter. Let me show you something, man. Old boy over there at Ohio State that's throwing screen passes every two plays that y'all giving all that praise to. Oh, he ain't doing that like this, man. This is a real QB. The same guy that looked off for of safety in a cover two in the national championship game with everything on the line and throw the rope. That same guy. Look at this. Nigel Harris actually knocked the lineman on off the block. But look. Move your feet. Stay in the pocket. Trust that this lineman is going to get. Did you see the movement just to get over there and buy time to actually get this ball off? And look at the perfection. Look at the laser. Look at that. Bow! You can't hand the ball off better from the center to the quarterback. 
Hot one, hot two. I personally went to Ancestry.com and looked up Jalen Waddle. This young man is 85% African American, 15% Ascendant Jupiter, more commonly known as a cheater. And I think he related to rugs. I just can't explain this footwork. It's incredible. He mistakenly knocked him off a block that he was already struggling with. But look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. At the footwork. Great block. Great block. But look where he put this ball. You can't hand it off better than that. This guy had time to locate this ball, find it, track it, catch it, and still outrun both of you D1 defensive backs. That's a true freshman right there. He is part of the Cheetah family. So I ain't going to dish you and act like y'all really that slow. It's just that he's just that fat. Boy, you better slow up. I saw y'all almost blow out that hammy. But Tired Nation, I want y'all to do me a favor. Straight up, for real, do me a favor. Give me a moment of silence for one of my folks at Tennessee. One of my partners, he actually at the game. He doing real bad at the game, too, man. He actually a fan of Tennessee. I don't know if his mom just died. His dog died. He got some kind of terrible news at the game. It's either one of those situations or it's just the Bama game just doing him that bad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness, it hurts so bad. Look at his face. That's the face you make when you run up on the tide. Oh, man, look at him, y'all. Oh, man.